we are praying for others some fear used to come if i pray for the evil spirit if i pray for the sickness if i pray for the family going through lots of curses so whether that uh, and the problem will affect me my health if i pray for some very uh, people those who are in the uh, verge of the death if i pray the sickness will come the sickness will affect me affect my health so this may be the question for many if i pray for the some evil spirit so that evil spirit will disturb me again so my family it will affect my family so uh, sometimes we are troubled by the people's problem by seeing oh this problem that problem so if you are praying for 100 people with a different different problem yes that problem will sometime come and remind us to pray for that particular person uh, god will give the grace uh, to remember uh, pray for others but the problem should not be a uh, mountainous the problem should not control you so how we can pray for others in the with the help of the holy spirit uh, so such a way we are going to see in this uh, uh, no message jesus came with a compassion so the compassion of the lord jesus christ touch and heal the people from all the sicknesses weaknesses and everything so that is the compassion means with a burden so the deep love that is the compassion yes we also needed you know that kind of the deep love the compassion heart for others healing restoration deliverance uh, and everything so that compassion heart is needed so whenever we pray the compassion used to come At the same time uh, whenever we are seeing the evil spirit the possessed to people so the same compassion became a kind of a, a is a zeal you know sometimes uh, it's mixed with the and you know, a kind of a anger of god anger means because deep love so the fear of god how uh, this person can be possessed by the evil spirit wicked devil you get out you no know, rebuke jesus rebuke to the evil spirit the compassion jesus in this uh, another side to deal with the evil spirit he is rebuking he is tormenting bible says the tormenting spirit you get out you know the evil spirit you get out how sees the daughter of abraham sees under the new covenant so jesus healed many people in the 18 years old sickness that lady jesus is mentioning sees the daughter of abraham how she can affected by this sicknesses so the same way we need compassion the same way we need the uh, anointing to cast out to the evil spirit to leave with authority how she is the he sees washed by the blood of the lamb he is washed by the blood of the lamb how he gone through, uh, go through this sickness how she gone through this sickness wicked spirit every spirit of cancer every spirit of this whatever it may be the mountain get out go to the depth of the sea hell of the fire you know such a way the prayer compassion the same time rebuking the evil spirit the spirit of sicknesses should get out get out with the anger with the kind of anger of the lord to deal the evil spirit so this is the you know, kind of the a two type of the ministry so if you are doing in this ministry one thing is important you are not doing the ministry that is important yes yeah, sometimes if you are praying for somebody very sickness the thought by you know, that will come that will come inside your mind and heart but that will not uh, you know be a first priority in your life so that is the important the problem of the people the sickness whatever you are going through you are praying for so that should not be a first priority in your body that should not be go into your own mind for understanding now our body is having a two 
spiritual body also the physical body so many time the physical body inside your heart if you are allowing you know, such a kind of the pathetic situation of the sicknesses or something curses you know so that will store in your physical body heart and mind as a burden as a fear so the spirit of fear will enter inside you know our heart our mind the physical body not a spiritual body so that's why you should understand the variation between body soul and mind actually body is the first uh, uh, kind of the you know receiving system body so in your body you should uh, na died apostle paul is telling no more paul christ is living in me i am died so then you will be getting stronger as i told you the pathetic thing the sympathy of the other people it will not come and store inside your uh, physical mind and physical heart or the physical body you will all the time cast all the burden after the prayer you curse all the burden upon the lord you curse lord i prayed for such a you know the people those who are affected by cancer or heart problem kidney problem liver problem or hospital we see sometime i used to go to hospital we see visit there the icu lots of people in a very very bad condition you know the ventilator many thing i used to go and see and pray for the people but how that things will not go into my physical body it used to take in control of my soul the spiritual body soul so that's why you need a strength in your soul so you should not allow it inside your physical body mind and heart as a spirit of fear and then you will be disturbed the spirit of fear will all the time come inside your mind you see how that uh, na patient gone through that uh, cancer oh he or she may be die within a one month the doctor given the date for one month or one week or three one year so these things will come inside our mind i will also die i will also die oh no you, this is the lies of the devil this is not a true so that's why you need a strong anointing inside your soul your spiritual body should increase and the spiritual body should getting stronger 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 in your spiritual life so for that you have to come more close to the spiritual life all the time you have to pray in tongues you have to rejoice rejoice in the holy spirit you have to allow the spirit of the lord more so the problem of the people should not enter inside your physical body as a spirit of fear as a spirit of anxiety as a spirit of depression it should not be go and possess you so that's why you should died for your flesh so that is through the baptism through the salvation many things through the spirit of the lord so jesus gone through temptation but jesus was strong strong no very strong jesus able to make it matthew chapter 4 jesus able to overcome it overcome it all the temptation <clears throat> because the spirit of the lord strengthened jesus the same way in your life also you are praying for somebody the situation that uh, kind of the people's problem it should not go inside your physical uh, body or mind heart so you should stronger in your inner man so this word is very important second corinthian chapter 4 second corinthian chapter 4 verse 16 here the bible says second corinthian chapter 4 verse 16 therefore we do not lose heart even though our outward man is perishing yet the inward man is being renewed day by day you know day by day our inner man is uh, <coughs> inner man is 
renewed getting stronger getting stronger no getting stronger day by day day by day getting stronger day by day so this is the getting stronger uh, in the your inner man your inner man so that is the god's plan so whenever you are praying for somebody you are praying from your inner man so that's why according to this uh, second corinthian chapter 4 verse 16 is very clearly says our outward man is perishing that means the people's problem the people's the emotion that will not go inside your heart the spirit of the lord will take in care no you should understand that you are not praying the spirit of the lord is praying romans chapter 8 26 27 you are not praying the spirit of the lord is praying so that is the very important so uh, whenever you are praying for somebody that their problem should be taken care by the spirit of the lord you have to cast out all the burden upon the lord you have to cast out all the burden upon the lord so god will take in care of it so that is the important so that is the important so you should allow the spirit of the lord should work in the problem so the problem should not be come inside so that's why first john 4 4 says the one who is in you you your soul is connected with the holy spirit the one who is in you is greater than this world than the problem so this is the important thing your uh, inner man renewed day by day getting stronger that inner man is getting stronger the deliverance will be happen by the spirit of the lord automatically but you are getting stronger stronger in your inner man the outward problem the outward the out, the people's problem will not control your physical body soul or mind because your outward man is perishing that is the place all these people's problems are coming and storing that is the place if you are pray somebody for some evil spirit that same evil spirit will disturb me the same evil spirit will disturb me no such a doubt used to come but if we were outward body no the storing place of the people's problem the worldly problem worries burden so that place is Uh, it is uh, bible says the outward man is perishing step by step it is going away so that means the that place overcome uh, yeah, that place is overcome by the inner man inner man the inward man spiritual man your soul your soul is renewing renewing every day every day it is renewing your soul is renewing more prayer more bible reading so it is getting stronger 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 every day so this kind of that uh, uh, experience will make you clear the battle belongs to the lord he is working he is delivering he is healing he is uh, you know getting out people from the evil spirit in a such a way it will not affected uh, connected any more with our physical body soul and mind so then after the prayer you can be rejoice after the prayer lord thank you you helped me of course the people's prayer request their burden will be inside your mind only for the prayer and the deliverance you have to thank the lord lord i thank you for the deliverance you know bible says the prayer should be a thanksgiving so the prayer should be changed as a thanksgiving prayer so you are praying for somebody somebody going through very bad the last stage of cancer you have to start a thanksgiving prayer lord we thank you for the soul thank you lord you are going to you can able to uh, give them the new life she and or he may be live she will not die he will not die and proclaim the work of the lord such a way we will be positive 
so then that uh, people's problem that uh, mentality they have kind of that uh, emotional it will not attack you otherwise you will be attack you will be attack by the spirit of fear that is the root cause the spirit of fear will not touch you such a way <coughs> touch your physical body soul and mind such a way your outward man should be perish your inward man this second corinthian 4:16 is a very powerful word your inner man should getting stronger 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 every day every day more prayer more grace more strength such a way if you are growing so that the people's problem will not attack you because the one who is in you is greater the inside your soul is getting stronger 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 so then the people's problem will not come and disturb in your mind so you should give the important to the soul inside your spirit so that's why the second corinthian chapter 3 verse seven onwards we are here we are having the uh, ministry of the spirit the ministry of the new covenant the ministry of the righteousness if you can read second corinthian chapter 3 verse no uh, seven to the entire chapter 18 so here the moses ministry is a uh, outward the physical the flesh but the jesus came and blessed us with the holy spirit now we are uh, in the spirit the ministry of the spirit you should understand this this is very important so now we are under the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit so you should understand this chapter very nicely so now uh, we are that uh, the ministry in the emotion with that uh, you know kind of that uh, feeling so that is the ministry uh, of the flesh so that is the ministry uh, of the flesh so that ministry that things that is uh, not uh, important only that uh, the people's deliverance through your ministry in the spirit that is important you are doing you no know, if you are doing and uh, seeing some sick people or seeing some problematic people of course we have to pray with tears but we are not uh, mingling with their problem your soul your soul is uh, full of the spirit so your soul is having the authority and power so you are full of the connected with the spirit of the lord so that's why you are doing the ministry of the spirit second corinthian 3h very clearly says so then second corinthian chapter 3 verse 9 says ministry of the spirit ministry of the righteousness we are having the ministry of the righteousness so it is exceed much more in glory the physical is no role here oh they are having their problem lord how you are going to heal them that thing will not come so in the ministry of the spirit is full of faith jesus healed them first peter 224 all the sicknesses are healed that should be your faith that should be your faith so such a way we have to grow we have to do our ministry so your ministry is a ministry of the new covenant your ministry is the ministry of the righteousness so your ministry is the glorious glorious ministry in the glorious ministry your soul only do the ministry not your physical emotion or your physical the uh, you will not the phys- people's problem will not be a big for you all the problems are the same how the lord want to heal the headache how the uh, god want to heal the small you know kind of the back pain the same way god want to heal the cancer also god want to heal the kidney problem also the same god the same jesus unchanging jesus the problems are the same so nothing is difficult for god nothing is no pro, nothing is problem for god so all things are possible that is the ministry of the spirit you have to come in the ministry of the spirit so such a way god want to use you god want to use you 
so you are the same chapter if your ministry of the spirit is increasing your soul is getting stronger every day this kind of the thoughts will not overcome you you will pray with a great joy in the same time authority and power that disturbance will not overcome your mind and heart and disturb you torment you no so you are doing the ministry of the spirit ministry of the righteousness ministry of the new covenant so that's why the second corinthian 3:18 very clearly says so we are being transformed every day into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of the lord so we are growing glory to glory so this experience will help you to be do your ministry with the power and authority At the same time your soul will be rejoice your soul will be rejoice the bible talk about our soul many places very specially in the book of psalm many places it is re- written about oh my soul oh my soul this is the ministry of the spirit so you should come into that level very specially psalm 42 2 says my soul thirst for the lord thirst for god for the living god when shall i come and appear before god my soul the soul is having a thirsty 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 more anointing then this 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 problem if you are prayed for 1000 people if you are prayed for 100 people 100 people in the hospital it will be a kind of a thought and thinking for the uh, uh, that people pray for again and thanking god for them again it will be there but it will not torment you it will not disturb you the problem will not disturb you oh i prayed for that person who oh, that uh, skin disease so that may be come in my body no no because you are doing the ministry of the spirit that is full of the faith god is working god is healing we are just uh, we are the just an instrument that's all such a way we have to pray for others then that problem will not disturb us that problem will not uh, uh, control us so on the time you know, remember this uh, second corinthian 4:16 my spiritual body so my spiritual body is getting stronger to do the ministry of the spirit ministry of the spirit so your soul is connected with the god spirit you are one with the lord first corinthian 6:17 you are one with the lord your spirit is connected with the god spirit such a way we can do the ministry so that's why some 100 and three one and two also bless the lord oh my soul praise the lord oh my soul soul not a physical body bless the lord oh my soul all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and do not forget all his benefits so that means we are doing the ministry we are praying for others uh, through our soul not in the flesh we are doing the ministry through our soul through the holy spirit so our inner man should stronger 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 every day so your inner man is very strong the worldly problem will not disturb you you will never have oh today i cast out lots of uh, demons lost of uh, lots of the curses uh, removal many things so that may disturb me your inner man is stronger you will go stronger 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 in the ministry of the spirit